Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue. Today in big cat news around the world, unfortunately another tiger was found dead in UP's Dudois Tiger Reserve. There is a petition to ban photos that glamorize exotic animal ownership on Instagram. I think that thing has over 95,000 uh, signatures now. So I'd love it if you would come to bigcatrescue.org slash news, find this cute little cub that is just being treated so badly, click on the link and go to sign the petition. Two leopard cat kittens were saved from a fire that was in the Khmer Times. Each of these, you can click on them and read the entire story. Tiger King star Carol Baskin to share experience with Aberdeen students. I actually did that already and they were wonderful. Oh, they were so amazing. They were a bunch of film students in Scotland. So I love their accents and they had so many great questions. It went on. It was supposed to be like, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes. I think we ended up going like an hour and 20 minutes um, because they were just so engaged. So that was really nice. Miracle in Jungle. Four two-month-old tiger cubs rescued 12 days after their mother died in UP. Under, fortunately, they got to be like eight months old or so before they could be released. And that's an awful long time for them to imprint on people. So I don't think it bodes well for them that they would ever be able to be released. Alapur Zoo, I'm not sure. I guess that's India. A man jumped into a lion enclosure and was dragged 30 feet. What is the matter with people? Jeez. Darwinianism at its best. Sanctuary rescues pet tigers and a newborn cub and lions from a backyard breeder after the owner dies. That was Wildcat Sanctuary. And Big Cat Facilities Exploit Workers, says Animal Rights Report. So they're talking about these facilities that are breeding all of these lions and calling it like, you know, they con usually young women into paying thousands of dollars to come there and raise poor orphaned baby lions when in fact they have just been bred for that purpose to get people to pay to come do that. And then they end up being shot in canned hunts. And so they're saying the people who end up working at those places that are duping the public and causing so much harm, they're not very well paid. And so that's probably a big part of why they are able to keep them doing what they do. I have a couple of reports from the enrichment team. We were talking on our staff meeting yesterday about it's time for Easter videos. We all love the Easter videos. And so that got me thinking, oh my goodness, I bet the enrichment team is just really coming up with some cute stuff. So as you can see, they are. Maureen Calderon says the Easter Bunny has been keeping the enrichment team busy these past few weeks. Thanks to Melissa Deep, Jodina Gagnon, Sarah Dupree, Bethany Smith, there's like no commas in here, Stephanie Garcia, Jane Palatsky, Rebecca Williams, and Babs Riddle for coming in on Wednesdays to help make fun stuff for the cats. Don't forget the deadlines for Easter are 324 for small cats and 331 for the big cats. And then there was a follow-up also from Marie Calderon saying, little cat Easter enrichment is ready. Easter next week is the deadline for big cats. Thanks to, or maybe it's just saying, <laughs> it's a picture of a bunny. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> the text says, next week is the deadline for big cats. Thanks to Stephanie Babs, Rebecca, and our special guest, Catherine, for coming in to make enrichment. Can't wait to see the cats enjoy what we have made for them. So that sounds like fun. And then I have a coordinator report, probably, because I'm a little bit behind. This one is from Linda Licht, who said, Today's gray skies and chilly temps didn't dampen our spirits for a Sunday fun day. In fact, we made it a wonderful day. Special thanks to team Catherine and Jennifer R., who modified their schedules and covered the AM and PM meds. Barbara and Sarah did the AM and PM supplements. Rebecca took care of Loki, the Savannah cat, and I was on Mouser Savannah cat duty. Feeders included Sarah, Barbara, Nisha with Buddy Dee Dee for the big cats, and Jordan, Rebecca, Penny, Lisa, Stephanie, and Mai. Just one more sign off to go for the little cats. Catherine stayed to do the virtual feeding tour with Brittany and Taylor as a backup. They raised like over $2,000. That was one amazing feeding tour. Sarah, Rebecca, and Barbara went out as a team of three to clean all of the big cats, double checking each other along the way. There are like caterpillars falling out of the skies and I've had them in my hair and in my shirt. I just felt something crawling in my bra. Oh, sorry about that. 
We had a big project team, including the interns, Jordan, Nisha, Taylor, Stephanie, and volunteers, Penny, Jeff, Johnny, Regina, and Gail. They worked on Breezy the Bobcat's two remaining big bubbles and surrounded the tour path area. They knocked that out so quickly that Tom Tom was sleeping in the back corner. Erin decided they could quickly clean up off Tom Tom's small bubble with her concrete den. With a big group, we went on to the next cat on the list and moved the project team over to Frankie Bobcat. By lunchtime, his big section was done. Later in the day, we switched him over, and Jordan, with some help from Lisa, knocked out the small bubble and around near the white wall. We did a lot of classes and sign-offs today as well. I gave Gail her second required trainee class over the weekend, Taylor took her operant conditioning class, and Brittany took Jordan and Nisha out for grooming class in session. So the grooming is where we take a telescoping back scratcher and a lot of our older cats can't get those mats out around their necks so we help them with the back scratcher. But we have to train people how to be safe when they do that so that's what she was doing. After lunch, Nisha, Taylor, and Stephanie did food prep. Lisa sang to perfection the ocelot who thought the warmth of her heated den was too good to come out. Yeah, there was that problem. And But Breezy came over and so did King Tut and then made a bunch of blood sickles. Barbara and I handed out blood sickles to the big cats after food prep was done. The interns went out and did blood sickles in enrichment with the little cats before wrapping up the day's chores. You can stay up to date with us everywhere as Big Cat Rescue, and you can check in with us on our website at bigcatrescue.org. Stay cool, cats.